today is inequality. So, inequality, you want to explain the meaning of inequality or symbols, symbols of what inequality. You know that when two quantities are equal, we use the sign, we use this sign in between them. And this sign is called what? Equality sign. Okay. Meaning that the left hand side and the right hand side is what? Equal. equal. Right. Now you have 9 plus 6 will give you what? 15. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. When you add 9 and the 6, it will give you 15. Now the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. But in inequality, the left hand side may not be equal to the right hand side. I want to see the sign, we want to know and explain the sign we use when the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. Now, when the quantity on the left hand side is not equal to the quantity on the right hand, on the right hand side, the sign or the symbol are, yeah, now you have what? This is called not equal to, greater than or less than our what use number one not equal to this side here means it's not equal to that means the left hand side and the right hand side are not equal you know that three is not equal to what eight the meaning of this side is what not equal to then we have six plus four 6 plus 4, when you add 6 plus 4, it will give you 10. But at the, at the right hand side, we have 12. So 6 plus 4 is not equal to what? 12. Number 2, this sign here means less than. Means less than. We have 5 is less than what? 7. 5 is less than what? 7. And also we have here 6 plus 1 is less than what? 10. When you add 6 and 1, you will have uh, what? 7. And you know that 7 is less than what? 10. Here yeah, now we have x is less than 6. This means that the value of x is any number less than what? 6. That is the value of x can be what? 5, 4, 3, 2, and so forth. Number 3, this sign means greater than. 20 is greater than what? 12. You have you seen it? The right hand side and the left hand side are not what? Equal. That is why we use this sign in between them. 20 is greater than what? 12. Now, when you add 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 is greater than what? 7. 8 plus 3 will give you what? 11. And 11 is greater than what? 7. And here also we have x is greater than what? 3. When we say x is greater than 3, that is the value of x will be great with the value of x will be greater than what? 3. That is the value of x should be from what? 4, 5, 6, and so forth. Now, number four, this sign here means less than or equal to. When you see this sign like this, it means less than or equal to. When we say x is less than or equals to what? Five. This read, x is less than or equals to five. It implies that x can take any value from five downward. That is, x can be five, um, s can be five, four, three, one, two, then number five, this sign means greater than or equal to. So now when we say x is greater than or equals to eight, that means the value of s will start from what? Eight equals to greater, greater than or equals to eight. To so start from what? Eight, nine, ten, and the up one. Oh. Inequality can also be written in a revised order. Example, 5 is less than 7 also means that 7 is greater than 5. You can also rewrite it in this form, 7 is greater than 5. If 5 is less than 7, that means 7 is what? Greater than 5.
This means that 5 is less than 7 and also 7 is greater than 5. Okay, now we want to solve some example with the, with the what with the symbols. Solve solve the inequality three x plus twenty is greater than four. That is number one example. Number one solution. 3x plus 20 is greater than 4. Now, see the listing. We are going to use the same manner and the same uh, step we use in words in simple equation to solve this. Simple equation and this inequality is the same thing, but the difference between them is their what sign. Now, we are going to use balance what balance method to solve this. You can remember that in our balance method, we first eliminate this. So, to eliminate this, we do what we subtract. Subtract 20 from both sides. You have what? 3x plus 20 minus 20 is greater than 4 minus 20. 3, 3x plus 20 minus 20 will give you what? 3x. You have, you have, we are left with what? 3x at the left hand side. 3x is greater than 4 minus 20. We you know that 4 minus 20 will give you what? Minus 16. Minus 16. Minus 16. Minus 16. Now divide, divide both side by what? 3, 3. You know that 3 is the coefficient of what? The x. Now we want to divide both by the coefficient of x, which is what? 3. 3x three divided by 3 is greater than minus 16 divided by what? 3. So this will cancel itself 1. Cancel this, you have 1. You have, you are left with what? x. x is greater than 3 minus 3. 3 divide itself 1, 3 divide 16 will give you what? 5, 5 remainder 1. You have 5 whole number minus 5 whole number 1 over 3. That is your answer. Example number 2. Number 2. Find the value of s that satisfied that satisfied the inequality that satisfied the inequality 5x minus 7 is greater than 9 such such that x is an integer. Solution. Find the value, find the value of x, find the value of x that satisfies the inequality 5x minus 7 is greater than 9, such so that x is, is an integer. What is an integer? An integer are all positive and negative what? Numbers. All positive and negative whole numbers. numbers. Okay. So, integer are all positive and negative whole numbers. 
That means fraction is not what an integer. Now let's solve solution. 5x minus 7 is greater than 9. As usual, we want to eliminate this word minus 7. To eliminate it, because you have minus near now, to eliminate it, you have to add 7. So add 7 to both sides. You have 5x minus 7 plus 7 is greater than 9 plus 7. So 5x minus 7 plus 7, minus 7 plus 7 will give you 0. Now at the left hand side, you are left with what? 5x. 5x is greater than 9 plus 7 will give you 16. Now at the left hand side, at the right hand side, you have 16. Now we want to eliminate this 5 so that at the, at the left hand side, you have only what? x. Divide. Divide both sides by what? 5. 5x five divided by 5 is greater than 16 divided by what? 5. 5 cancel itself 1, cancel this, you are left with what? x. And the left hand side is greater than, is greater than 5 divided itself 1. When 5 divide this now, you have 3 remainder what? You have 3 remainder 1 over 5. 3 remainder 1 over 5. But x is what? We say that x, that, the, that x is what? An integer. If x is an integer, yeah, now you have 3, 3 whole number 1 over what? 5. x cannot be 3 whole number 1 over what? 5. So x is greater than 3 whole number 1 over what? 5. So the value of x should be from what? The value of x will be what? That will be 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. Our last example for today is this. If x is an integer, find the First three possible value of X that satisfied and satisfied the inequality that satisfied the inequality seven X plus 8 is less than minus 23. If x is an integer, find, find the first three possible value of x that satisfy the inequality. 7x plus 8 is less than minus 23 solution. You know what an integer is. Integer is all, posit all positive and negative whole no. numbers. So x cannot be fraction solution. 7x plus 8 is less than minus 23. As usual, we want to eliminate this. To do that with minus, we subtract. Subtract 8 from both sides. We have 7x plus 8 minus 8 is less than minus 23 minus 8. 7x plus 8 minus 8. 8 minus 8 will give you 0 here. At the left hand side, you have 7x. 7x is less than 7x is less than minus 23 minus 8 will give you what? That will give you minus 31. Now, I have told you before that when you have such question like this, minus, minus, what you have to do, add the numbers together and put their sign. Their sign is what? Minus. 
Now, when you add them together, you put your their sign. When you add them, you're having 31. And then their sign is what? Minus. You put your minus sign. We have 7x is less than minus 31. Now, I want to divide both. Divide both by the coefficient of the x. Divide both sides by what? 7. 7x divided by 7 greater than is less than minus 31 divided by what? 7. 7 cancel itself and cancel this. You are left with what? x is less than 7 divided this will give you 1, 1. We give you 4, 4. Remember what? Remember 3 over 7. 4, 4. Remember 3 over 7. Now, the solution say x is less than minus 4 whole number 3 over 7. You know, in your number line, x is less than is less than minus seven, minus four. No, in your number line, when you have your number line like this, here is the origin. This is zero. Zero is the origin. And here you have minus one. Here you have minus two. Here you have minus three. Here you have minus four. And here minus five, minus six. Minus 7. You have minus 7. And they say x is less than. You know that in your number line, the number at the right of this, the, here now is 4. Number at the right of 4 is greater than what? 4. Mm -hmm. The number at the left of 4 is less than what? 4. Now, if x is less than minus 4, that means x, the value of x should be what? Minus 5 minus 6 and minus 7. You are asked to find the first three possible value of what x. Now the first three for possible value of x should be what? Minus 5, minus 6 and minus 7. Now x is now minus what? Minus 5, minus 6 and minus 7. So that is all for today. Thank you and God bless you, my children.